Hello and welcome to Paws channel. Our video today is about wild animals entering human settlements. A lot of wildlife was seen on urban streets especially during the pandemic. Anyways, let's start our today's video. In the first clip a chimp escaped from the zoo in Japan. After being one hour on a loose, the escapee decided to climb up an electric pole and have some rest. The authorities were informed by a member of public, and city officials managed to capture it again by tranquilizing it. It could have ended really bad for Curious George, if he would have touched two live wires at one time, before the authorities cut off the power. The next video was captured by Damien Mander, where a rhino strolled into the streets of major city in Nepal. Luckily no one was harmed and the beautiful animal disappeared into the wilderness after a while. However, on another occasion a rhino entered the city near Chitwan district Nepal, and killed a man who was returning home after fishing. In the next clip an anaconda was seen crossing a busy road in Brazil. Local resident Atala Nascimento Fernandes captured footage of the hefty snake, as it edged its way across a congested highway in the Brazilian state of Rondonia. Concerned that the reptile would be injured, Fernandes hopped out of his vehicle and began redirecting traffic, to ensure the sizable snake made its way safely across the road. In the next clip a hippopotamus took a stroll, through the town of St. Lucia, on South Africa's east coast. One-ton hippos, are the likely nighttime guests who would go to dine out in a South African town, not very often but rarely. But this particular hippo, decided to visit the town during the daytime, luckily no one was harmed. Otherwise, hippopotamus are the world's deadliest large land mammals, killing an estimated 500 people per year in Africa. In the next clip a lion entered into the village in Gear, India, and killed farmer's cow. Human wild conflict in India is quite common and a lot of videos have been shared online where lions, tigers, leopards, elephants and other wild animals entered into nearby towns creating a chaos. Human wildlife conflict occurs, when animals pose a direct and recurring threat to the livelihood or safety of people, leading to the persecution of that species. Retaliation against the species blamed often ensues, leading to conflict about what should be done to remedy the situation. Authorities are doing their best to handle the situation, and a lot of progress have been made to overcome this problem. The wildlife is on a rise again, thanks to the authorities and people of India who are contributing to save India's wildlife. In the next clip, a young lioness visits the nearby cafe in Pilanesburg National Park, South Africa. The cafe owner quickly locked the door, which kept the lioness from entering the cafe. The young cat only wanted a cup of coffee, but people got too scared to let her in. Sonia Lerm, sales representative, opened up the coffee shop at around 8 a.m. to start off a normal working day. But it definitely wasn't a normal day, when the curious cat tried to get into the cafe to check if there were any humans inside. While the humans were locked into their homes cause of pandemic, the animal kingdom was still bustling with action. When fewer people went out to see the animals, more animals went in search of the people, this shows how curious animals can be. In the next clip a massive sea lion was resting on top of the car in Uruguay South America. The clever guy managed to bring it down by throwing fish on the floor. Slowly the guy managed to lead it to the nearby sea where it belonged. Luckily no one was harmed and the meatloaf went back to where it belonged. In the next clip roughly 300 crocodiles swam through flooded streets in India. About 5,000 people were evacuated from their homes, as water from the overflowing crocodile-infested Vishwamitri River, spread through the city of 1.2 million people. A video of one young crocodile, emerging from the flood to attack a dog went viral on social media. The reptile was caught by animal rights activists. In the next clip a pride of lions walk through the streets of a village in India. The native Malhari tribals have lived alongside the lions for years, on the whole peacefully. Lion visits are a regular feature in 6 out of 10 villages. 
in the Gir region spread out in three districts of Saurashtra, Junagadh, Amreli, and Baunagar. Now, the next clip is a bit of mystery. The video claiming to show a tiger entering into a convenience store, and creating panic among the few people inside has been shared through many online video sharing platforms. Mostly in comedy, entertainment or pets and animals categories. Our search indicates that the video was originally shared in June 2008 on Live Leak and YouTube about the same time. But what makes the video questionable is that the owner of the convenience store is a white guy, and there are no Bengal tigers in Europe or USA. So either this was a pet tiger and video was made to get the social media attention or it was nicely edited. In the next clip an alligator took full advantage of the COVID, and visit the empty streets in Southern California. In the next clip an Indian civet walks in the streets of India during the lockdown. The small Indian civet is a civet native to South and Southeast Asia. It is listed as least concern on the Yukon Red List because of its widespread distribution, widespread habitat use and healthy populations living, in agricultural and secondary landscapes of many range states. 